Hey everyone, Paolo here again. So this is a follow-up tutorial on the setting up Apache and PHP. This time we're going to set up MySQL. So first thing to do is just visit the website dev.mysql.com slash downloads. And from there, download the MySQL community server. And scroll down a bit, you would see there's three files. What you want to download is the DMG file. So download that. Uh, when you click on download, it's going to prompt you to sign in. If you already have an Oracle account, it's free. If you don't have one, just uh, sign up and then you could begin the download. So I already downloaded the file earlier. So if I open my finder. Uh, I just need to open the file and it would begin the installation. So from here, it's going to start the uh, MySQL installation wizard. I'm just going to select all the default settings, read the license, um, agree to it, uh, installation type. So you need administrator access to this one. So to install it. So it's now doing the installation. There you go. So it's already installed and it will generate a temporary password for you for the root host. So what you want is you copy this password, put stash them somewhere safe. I'm gonna put it on my text editor. Yep, and just click on OK. So by doing this, um, you installed MySQL. If you go to your system preference now, and from the system preferences, you'll see that there's a new icon here for MySQL. If you click on that, you would see the status of the MySQL. So you could start it from here. It's going to ask for the administrator password. and give it some time now it's running so once it's running you could launch the command line so what you need to do is to update the bash profile so if you go sudo v that bash profile I just added this earlier so you need to add the path to where the MySQL was installed. So it's add this tag, export path, and then dollar sign, export, and then semicolon user, forward slash local, forward slash MySQL, and then forward slash bin. So save that. When you call MySQL from the command line like this, you would get something like this. So right now, because it's it requires a username and password, so you type in mysql.u, the user is the root, and dash p, so it would require the password. So the password is the one we copied earlier. So type that in, and hit enter. So you're now inside mysql. So if you say, let me zoom in this, if you say show databases, uh, you must reset your password using alter before it's giving this statement. So there's a security here that you need to fix. So for version, the version that we have 5.717, the command is alter user root. Change that to localhost and say identified by then type your new password i'm just going to put a generic one one two three four five six seven eight and hit and semicolon and that and that's it so when you say show databases now we should show you the default databases so that's how you configure mysql so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel